Maybe it's the weed got me. Maybe it's these trees got me. Maybe it's these holes got me. Maybe it's the strong. Go! Maybe it's these clothes got me. The master chasing Elm Street Williams. Maybe it's these clothes got me. Kinda hop up on his spaceship, baby. Maybe it's my clan that got me. Maybe it's my fan that got me. I wake up in the morning putting my read in my Bible papers. Lord, I can see him later. Middle finger up. Always screaming, fuck a hater. All aboard. It is time to hop aboard my spaceship. Because you are now tuned into What is the Matrix? TV. Oh, we're going to have to get into it. I just landed on planet Earth and I hear about the brother who they said murdered Tupac Shakur. Part of Biggie Smalls, the man called Suge Knight is collapsing mm. in court. They gave the nigga a $25 million bail. Can we get a picture of this nigga, please? Oh, man. We got a special show. We got a brother called Young Zeus who's going to touch down and give y'all some information and some real hip hop. But first off, Let's start with this brother, Suge Knight. Can we throw it up, please? Let me dial in. I'm there. Oh, my God. Legally blind. My brother saying he is legally blind now. Suge Knight be like, uh, I didn't see them, Your Honor. This brother showed up with a, a motherfucking cane like Little Ralphie or Stevie Wonder rolling around here like he was blind. But we're going to go into a video of his lawyer mentioning the show Empire during the testimony. We're going to talk about how his lawyer was like, they fucked him up. They fucked him up. The gang members fucked him up. So there's a lot of things going on on planet Earth when it comes to people in general. But we like to talk about hip hop, rap, politics, spirituality, religion. You know, I'll be coming down from outer space a lot and touching down to try to kick knowledge to the people. But I, I, have, I have a young guest right now. His name goes by the name Young Zoom. Peace, my brother, what's good? What's going on with you over there, man? You good? I am great, man. I, it's a blessing, and I'm thankful that you came on the show, brother. And I just want to give you a good applause. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a good interview tonight. Let the people know who you are, brother. Where are you from? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm young, Zeus. Uh, I reign from Riverside, California. Riverside, motherfucker. Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, Riverside, motherfucker. <laughs> it's a lot going on out there right now. And uh, we trying to... Uh, we trying to bring everybody together, all my black folks out there together, man. It's one time, you feel me? So let us know, where did the name Zeus come from? It's a funny story. Uh, it's a couple of reasons why they call me young. Um, one of which, my bars. Uh, since a young kid, people come to me like, man, you're bored. Where did the J come from, first off? I, I, I'm, I'm not even going to get into all that right oh, now, but I'm just saying. Boy, we're going to start it uh, off. How I many songs are you going to perform for the world tonight? I'm going to do two for y'all, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do two, man. Two, man. I, I want to say this. When you guys watch What is the Matrix TV, and you come to our studio, a TV studio, we're professional. Right, right, right. So when I was listening to your sound check before we went live, brother, right, you right. know, even though brothers be on... Uh, what is it called? TV time, uh, uh, nigga time. So sometimes some of my brothers is late, you know. I was a little late. So, <laughs> so w for me, when I tell a brother or a sister, sometimes I need you at there at six o'clock, seven. Some niggas might show up at nine o'clock. <laughs> That's how they call it nigga time. 
You know, that's one of our jokes. Yeah. But uh, your lyrics, brother, it amazed me. It actually thank said you, a thank message. You. Thank it you. wasn't talk about no bullshit. Where did that thank come you. from? Uh, you know, I got a lot of mainly the East Coast. I'm not even going to front. Um, growing up, a lot of people asked me, was I from the East Coast? And I would always have to tell them no. But it was just because I grew up listening to Jay. I listened to a lot of, uh, you know, KRS-One. Shit, shit that was, you know, uh, hot back East. DMX, you know, shit like that. And, 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 and I brung that to the, to the West. And uh, I guess uh, I guess the East fuck with me because I'm lyrical like them, and the West yeah. fuck with me because I'm from the West. Peace to the God, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't even know, man. We, Riverside alone, I feel like we we breaking out of our shell right now. So I'm, I'm that guy. I'm, I'm finna put the rev on, trust me. And that's the great thing about Riverside, y'all. The the network, when we, when we touch down from outer space, it's called InlandEmpireLive.tv. It's not... <laughs> It's not just about this show. It's about a network. We have a fleet of spaceships. If you have a comedy show, if you if you know some homegirls who like to strip and want to throw parties and do some other thing, we can talk business. If you want to have an album release party at our venue, at our spot, you can do that. And as you always know, don't bring no stupid people around. Bad things might happen to you. And we ain't calling the police, so you don't really do some shit. So... At the end of the day, we have a young artist from Riverside, and I believe in this brother, because at the end of the day, we crack jokes about showing up late and doing things, but he showed up, and he stands for something. The brother's dressed nice. He's cordial. He came through with respect. So when you hop aboard someone's spaceship, especially all you people watching <laughs> This no is special, baby. What is the matrix? Jason Elm Street Williams, you are the master. My brother's about to get on stage and rock it. What song are you going to perform, brother, and what's it about? Uh, I got a record called Rise off of my uh, latest mixtape. I got the album dropping 4th of July, Probable Cause. I, can can you do an album release party here? Of course, hey, uh, you, you already know, know man, we come through. Downtown and so-called Jews and we, Arabs and Asians and some of the Mexicans. We bring them all likes through. black people. Yeah, exactly. Much love. Hey, but we don't, we, we want them to buy our records, though, for right. sure. They, you know, they buy our records. For they they sure. go to the NCAA tournament. The NCAA tournament is now, and when I look in the stands, it ain't filled with black folks. Nah. It's filled with white folks. Because exactly. we don't have the money yeah. to pay for tickets, but you niggas is slaving. They, I, I was a Division One athlete at one time. Y'all know that. And that was dope as fuck. Balling, though. You know what I'm saying? But the thing that I noticed is that 
a group of other people were making money off the athletes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the same thing with hip hop. So what is your goal and what do you feel you can do different business wise to, to three times to be a musical genius well in the streets i feel like i went gold platinum whatever the fuck you want to call it about a hundred times you know what i'm saying and if the streets respect it then i know the industry gonna respect it besides that my track record speak for itself niggas what know about like, the east we talking about the east coast east riverside i mean parts of town uh, sh shout out know. shout out to What's all sides of the, the town of riverside. uh sh you know what i'm saying uh, I'm from I'm from the east side, but I'm from the south side at the same time. Born and raised Riverside baby, and and I feel like all the real Riverside babies are gonna fuck with me because it's Riverside or nothing. This is what we do. This it what has we to live be for. about our turf. It has to be about the soil and us no. as a people, because we're not as we see Hollywood. Like at the end of the day, Ice Cube and them niggas just Riverside back in the day. Back in the this is before there was YouTube and all that. And you have to ask that question. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I, me. I feel like... Why did they ask that? Why, why, why did Ice Cube in the 1980s... It might know, have been the 90s. You know, out of all cities, you could have chose any other hey, city. Why did they diss Riverside? Because, look, Riverside is... is uh, Jason. 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 It's not a... It's not a city... Jason, it's time for you to perform soon. It's time it's for your video, Jason. It's a newer city, man. Everybody moves from LA, everybody moves from San Bernardino, everybody that thinks they su successful moves to the rib. And it is a little more turned down in the city. It is. It's a lot more I, I turned agree. down in the city. Thank you. But it's still real out here. It's still killers out here, just like anywhere else you go, man. It's, it, every hood's the same, just like E40, just like, just like I said, just like everybody said. Nigga, every hood's the same. And it might not as be as turned up as out there, but it's turned. I guarantee you that. I believe in you, brother. And I want you to come over here anytime. You're more than welcome to come for free. Thank you, thank you. You know? And I want you to make money out of this studio. Thank you. I want you to bring on guests, and then eventually we break bread together, whether it's a party bus, whether it's people doing events here, uh, videos. And that's the goal, is that we have an actual platform, NBC, ABC, the record labels. Like, I'm listening to Tupac. Yeah. I'm listening to his lyrics when we talk about Suge Knight and everything. Something First performance. No. We need more sponsors, to be honest. If you have a business, up, you know up, people up, watch up. my show. You get might not have to agree with it, but people watch it. You need customers, whether you're McDonald's, Jack in the Box, or any teacher. We have talented artists and talented people, and we have a real professional TV studio. Shut the fuck Leave it with something before we go to our commercial break. And then you're going to perform in a bit. Look, check this out. The mixtape, Magic 101, drop March 15th. Go grab that, download that right now. Dad Piff, Bandcamp, all that. The album, the album, February. Come on, man. I, I swept that. Look, check me out. April 8th, another mixtape coming, 4th of July. Y'all niggas going to grab that album, period. And we're gonna have that album release party around here. So you guys yes, tune sir. in. Young Zeus, Jason Elfrey Williams, what is it makes you CV? Tune in. We love you. Thank you. We'll be back. This is not a capital case. This is not a case in which narcotics were used or firearms. This is not a case when a single victim was allegedly uh, threatened. There it goes. Those are the only three bases in which Mr. Knight can be held without bail. 
the people concede that he gets bail, but they make a mockery of this and say $25 million. He's entitled to a reasonable bail that's not excessive. There's no showing that Mr. Knight is some uh, billionaire or millionaire. It, 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 it's like she watches Empire and comes in and says he's an unrepentant and shameless criminal. Prosecute him. The, the personal attacks on him get to, the, 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 to really the heart of this matter. They don't like him. They believe, they believe the hype. They believe that he's, it's like empire again. They, they believe that this guy's out here running all these criminal enterprises. Mr. Sloan confessed to Detective Barry Hall and said, I fucked him up. Mr. Knight was attacked, literally attacked. As, as Mr. Sloan says, he beat him, he hit him, he punched him, he fucked him up. Their argument literally is he should have sat there and get more fucked up. I, I don't believe, Judge, I don't believe in, with all sincerity and candor that you or I would sit there and let three gang members fuck me up. Yellow, looks like an orange jumpsuit here. This is rap mogul Suge Knight. He is uh, bowled over. He's collapsed in this courtroom. People obviously quickly responding to him, catching some of this video. This is raw video inside this Los Angeles courtroom showing uh, Suge Knight there bent over, seated bent over. Uh, LA Times reporting that at one point he was unconscious in the courtroom. This reportedly happened moments after uh, a judge set his bail. His bail, you want to know, set to 25 million dollars. Co-founder of Death Row Records, he is facing murder and attempted murder charges related to that uh, hit and run, double hit and run in late January. So, Suge Knight, as soon as we get more, we'll bring it to you. All right, just into us here at CNN, I want to share some video with you. I know it's kind of hard to see. You see the yellow, looks like an orange jumpsuit here. This is rap mogul Suge Knight. He is uh, bowled over. He's collapsed in this courtroom. People obviously quickly responding to him, catching some of this video. This is raw video inside this Los Angeles courtroom showing uh, Suge Knight there bent over, seated bent over. Uh, LA Times reporting that at one point he was unconscious in the courtroom. This reportedly happened moments after uh, a judge set his bail. His bail, you want to know, set to $25 million. Co-founder of Death Row Records, he is facing murder and attempted murder charges related to that uh, hit and run, double hit and run, in late January. So, Suge Knight, as soon as we get more, we'll bring it to you. Welcome to What is the Matrix TV. I am Jason Elm Street Williams. I have a special guest tonight. He goes by the name Young Zeus, straight out of Riverside, California. Let him know what you're talking about, brother. Good luck. Peace to the God. You already know though. This little record right here, man. This one right here for the streets, man. This one, this one for everybody struggling. Look, you know. You gotta have something. Now this is coming from a nigga in the struggle. Doing what the fuck you gotta do to maintain. But realizing that he need to change his ways. Cause I'm tired of dealing with the same old thing. And it's hard to get the picture when you caught up in the right frame of mind. Knowing that it's watered down truth. They done told so many lies. That I don't know what to believe. Still I'm chasing my dream, but I'm not in it for greed. I just wanna provide my family with everything that they need. Sit back and separate my wants from my needs In a world full of hate Who will cry when I leave Trying to be all that I can be With so much to achieve Just know you can go and get it If, if you truly believe Bills got me stressed out So I'm smoking the street I ain't the killer But I ride when it's time for it I want everything out of life That's what I strive for Hey Don't cry Let's ride. Here I go. Here I go. Look. Young. Young. My mama knew since birth what I be worth. Trips overseas, it seems I rule the earth. But that's the future. Devil, I rebuke you. And that gangster role, it don't suit you. 
came from the past And I brought a present with me that can turn pain to glass Treat him like a peasant and that pain gon' last Treat him like a king and that thing gon' blast Ignore the fact that we intelligent, heaven sent Knocking on the door and they gon' let us in Now they we on the letter me show Still knocking on the medicine, getting dope Cheap and all the weed, could it be bad for my health? But I need it, and greed, greed, wealth I did it on my own, I ain't need nobody help Daddy wasn't around, I had a man up for myself Hey, hey, don't cry Hey, hey Hey, hey, don't cry. Let's ride. Now, this is coming from a nigga in the struggle. Doing what the fuck he gotta do to maintain. But realizing that he need to change his ways. Cause I'm tired of dealing with the same old thing. Now, this is coming from a nigga in the struggle. Doing what the fuck he gotta do to maintain. But realizing that he need to change his ways Cause he tired of dealing with the same old thing Same old thing Young That's right Hey, Don't cry Hey, I don't know man This that shit though Yeah. 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 Did he lose? All you do is use. And my heart top beamer. My cruiser. Never let a bitch choose me. I'm a chooser. Look, young fly guy, I'm sky die. I'm high than a high five, my eyes wide and I'm focused on it. Nigga, no opponent, niggas know I'm zoning. Young die, I'll be back in the morning. Government still trying to clone it, but my guy just walked on it. Said, my son, just keep flowing. I'm from Riverside, where it's never snowing. Off to you with them hoes be hoeing, and I'm determined to get me. And right now, you can see I'm blowing on the east side where that crack at. Starting to look like Baghdad. Yap, yap, and we pack. Send a clip like a Snapchat. Yo, bitch, bad, but I had that. Who brought that trash back? 28 grams, I bagged that. Why you think I had that? Got a bad bitch from the east. Got a bad bitch from the west. Got a bad bitch that keep. Make my money, yes. I'm a real nigga. And that's when God make you punish, when you, God punishes you. Because I feel like, you know, it's too much money here. I mean, nobody... That's good. You cool? No, I'm straight. I can share with, with dogs. straight. straight. That's my own dude. That shit nasty. Come on, fuck. He's like, you know, bungee jump. I just wanted to clear my throat. You lost best rap video. You'd all disappointed about that? You... Oh, no, I didn't lose, see, because I sold six and a half million copies. So won. I won. When all these famous people get together, What's the one thing you take away? Is everybody much shorter than you thought? I know a lot of people find Snoop and say, you know, six foot four, I had no idea. Oh, yeah. But do people seem shorter? There's a lot of attitude going on. What do you, what's the one thing you take away? Oh, it's a lot of attitude, of course, because nobody thought we would show up here. But, you know, we, we always feel like we're keeping it real. Not f scratch that. We always felt like we're being true to everything we've always stayed exactly. representing. And our audience is worldwide. We're not even on no... You know, we coming out here and there's some East Coast, West Coast. We got beef with the people we got beef with. But we could go anywhere in the country because we are America's most wanted. Exactly. So you can't stop the flow. Can't stop what America wants. Um, right. On that note, I know that Biggie and Puffy are here tonight. Um, did you see them? Do you have anything to say to them at all? Nah, but if we, even if we saw them, we, not, we are businessmen. We are not animals. It's not like we're going to see them and rush them and jump on them. If they, they see us and they want drama, we're going to definitely bring it like only Dev Row could bring it. But we're here as businessmen to enjoy and, 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 and support the and video, support music, the video awards. music awards for MTV because they support us. So if they want to come and use this business opportunity to get on some gangster, you know, we do that better than anybody. Can you envision a day when, you know, Y'all, if not 
get together and make an album, just peace, peacefully coexist. There's no dream of making an album with Biggie and Puffy or none of them. We're not sweating it like that. This is our we, family. We over peacefully here. coexist right now because right. we all cool. Everybody's here. Everybody's they make they sell records. We sell records. Well, I guess you could call that selling records. What they do, we sell large amounts of records, and they sell a few records. And really, there's no there's no competition. People are really making too much out of it than it is. It's really just if you want to talk. We're going to make it specific as to what you can talk about and what you can't talk about. And the East Coast, West Coast thing is something that the journalists and people are making up just to get paid off it so it can drag out. So they're perpetuating it so it could be drama, which I still love MTV. But when it all go down, don't look at me and Biggie and be like, why is there a big East Coast, West Coast war when you're, you're shooting this to 30, 300 homes, 300 countries, telling them about an East Coast, West Coast war that they would never know exists. So that's where information becomes a problem. When and MTV if it did, if gotta it, be, if gotta it be did exist, let you know. if it did exist, Pac, we wouldn't be here. So right, and if it exists, you know how we gonna be sitting in New York talking about it? We'll try to be better um, role models, and y'all try to stop putting that drama out there. You got, you got a lot of power, a lot of responsibility. We both do. We both need to exercise greater restraint. Going on? What do you, what's the one thing you take away? Oh, it's a lot of attitude, of course, because nobody thought we would show up here. But, you know, we, we always feel like we're keeping it real. Not f scratch that. We always felt like we're being true to everything we've always stayed exactly. representing. And our audience is worldwide. We're not even on no, you know, we're coming out here and there's some East Coast, West Coast. We got beef with the people we got beef with. But we could go anywhere in the country because we are America's most wanted. Exactly. So can't stop the flow. Can't stop what America wants. Um, right. On that note, I know that Biggie and Puffy are here tonight. Um, did you see them? Do you have anything to say to them at all? No, nah, but if we even if we saw them, we not we are businessmen. We are not animals. It's not like we're gonna see them and rush them and jump on them. If they they see us and they want drama, we're gonna definitely bring it like only Dev Row could bring it. But we here as businessmen to enjoy and, 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 and support the and video, support music, the video awards. music awards for MTV because they support us. So if they want to come and use this business opportunity to get on some gangster, you know we do that better than anybody. Can you envision a day when you know? Y'all, if not, get together and make an album, just peace, peacefully coexist? There's no dream of making an album with Biggie and Puffy or none of them. We're not sweating it like that. This is our we, family We peacefully here. coexist right now because right. we all cool. Everybody's here. Everybody's, they, make, they sell records. We sell records. Well, I guess you could call that selling records, what they do. We sell large amounts of records, and they sell a few records. And really, there's no, there's no competition. People are really making too much out of it than it is. It's really just, if you want to talk, we're going to make it specific as to what you can talk about and what you can't talk about. And the East Coast, West Coast thing is something that the journalists and people are making up just to get paid off it so it can drag out. So they're perpetuating it so it could be drama, which I still love MTV, but when it all go down, don't look at me and Biggie and be like, why is there a big East Coast, West Coast war when you're, you're shooting this to 30, 300 homes, 300 countries, telling them about an East Coast, West Coast war that they would never know exists. So that's where information becomes a problem. When and MTV if it did, if gotta it, be, if gotta it be did the ones exist, let you know. if it did exist, Pac, we wouldn't be here. So right, and if it exists, you know how we gonna be? And that's when God make you punish. When you, God punishes you, because I feel like you know, it's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting lotto for thirty six million, and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic. That's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million thousand, drupal billion dollars and then there's people starving. There's no way. There's no way that these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, pants. I know you're rich. I know you got $40 billion, but can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why well, have 52 rooms and you notice somebody with no room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. And then these people celebrate Christmas. They got big trees, huge trees, all the little trimmings. Everybody got gifts, and then somebody's starving. And they're having a white Christmas. They're having a great Christmas, eggnog and the whole nine. That's not fair to me. I think that there's, when there's hopelessness, people revolt. Because it's like there's nothing that's like, you know, it's like we're going... Is America going to help us ever? You know, because, I mean, we know for a long time they haven't. Are they ever? And it's like all these things are showing us no. And there's the, you know there's somebody going, no, they're not going to help you. No, they're not going to help you. And then, of course, we see it. No, they're not helping us. It all comes down to we got to survive. We got to survive here in this country. Because I'm not going back to Africa. We got to survive here. And for us to survive here, 
white folks, black folks, Korean folks, Mexican folks, Puerto Ricans, we got to understand each other. We got to take, take a bigger chance. And when I say Americans, people think I'm talking about Uncle Sam. I mean, like, actually Uncle Sam with the gray hair and the flag. I mean you. 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 The guy, you know, you. The mechanic, wherever. You. I mean, you need to do something. I would rather tell a young black man to um, educate his mind, arm yourself, and be free and, and defend yourself than, you know, just sit there and turn your cheek. So, whatever message that sends out, that's the kind of message. And my music, and, and a lot of this music, it's only talking, it's only talking about the suppressed rising, I mean the oppressed rising up against the oppressor. That's all, that's what my music's about. The oppressed rising up against the oppressor. So if only people that are scared are the oppressors. The only people who could have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. I'm, I'm gathering attention for dialogue, which is what you do in the struggle for power. That's real, that's real. I'm happy with what I've done thus far. I can leave now and be totally happy and I'm going to for life. And I can have the ability to put a memory into somebody's head, to a child's head, like Queen Lai did for me. You know what I'm saying? I can affect somebody. That's what I want. You know what I mean? The only thing that can kill me is death. That's the only thing that'll ever stop me is death. What I want people to know is that don't, don't support the phonies. Support the We need more ladies to come through. I need more ladies on this spaceship. So if you have an idea, ladies, and you're watching this, we need y'all to come through. What is the Matrix TV? So we get back. We need to the facts. We want all y'all to understand. This is the young brother. How did you feel about your performance? And, and tell us about how you've been performing and life about that, going on the road trying to get your music out, let us know. Shit, I enjoyed it, man. I uh, should. I've been waiting to motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, kill your show, man, for the longest. <laughs> for the longest. Well, you're here, brother. So speak your mind, man. Let us know about Young Zeus, man. What, what separates you from every other artist? Man, uh, I, I try to let the music speak for myself. Uh, I feel like my music alone has a message. Uh, message being, you know, I don't, I don't give a fuck who you are, where you at, you can do it. Like, I don't give a fuck what you're doing, but you can make it through whatever the fuck you're going through, whatever the fuck. You know, just, just, just listen to my music and analyze it. You'll see. Nah, nah, we, we gonna get back. I need some more Shug Knight, NBA, NCAA, Empire Pitch. God damn it, Jason. That guy coming back? Jason, Jason, yeah. Jason. We just, we just watched just eight watch minutes of fucking Tupac, Tupac and you didn't say nothing about it. Well, you're leading to that. I'm listening to Tupac. <laughs> they murdered Tupac. <laughs> they killed my about nigga. It. At the end of the day, it has to matter. Hip hop is more than a religion. When it you is, it is, it is though. TV, it is a science, a spirituality. When you hear brothers before, older people, this is how you know.
actuality, this shit matters. Did, did this brother really have something to do with the boule, the Illuminati? Maybe so. Did you, were you part of killing somebody? Maybe so. A $25 million bail? Maybe now, so. Now you're coming into jail or the courtroom looking blind? And you, you ran over a gang member. So I understand if you guys saw the video when his lawyer was talking about Empire. He's not a Johnny Cochran. They killed Johnny Cochran. And Johnny Cochran was uh, with the Kardashians, if you guys remember that. So on what is the Matrix TV, we got to get deep. There's something called Tupac Breaking the Oath. You guys can type it up on YouTube right now. It's called Tupac Breaking the Oath. Now you, if somebody gave you $10 million, would you sell your soul? Fuck no. So what are you about then? What is Zeus about? Zeus? Because we, we know you about Riverside. We could talk about the Look, Greeks. Riverside, Look, Zeus is about maintaining. Maintaining is the one thing that you need to learn in life. To understand life itself, I feel. And if you don't know how to maintain, you can have it all. I don't give a fuck what you got. Million, trillion, billion. You can get it, but can you maintain it? You know what I'm saying? Can you maintain that lifestyle? And that's what, what a lot of motherfuckers get fucked up. Zeus is about maintaining. Zeus is about getting shit done. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if I got a, if I got a, uh, if I got a, uh, an ex expiration date, I'm gonna make sure that shit gets sold before that expiration date, period. And that's how I feel about life, period. So what's your next album about then? My next album this is, is called Magic, correct? That's the mixtape. The mixtape Magic One on One just dropped on the 15th. Um, the album is called Probable Cause, and it speaks for itself. Like I said, uh, it, at the end of the day, I got reason to feel like I'm the greatest. That's all. Like, that, that, that's, that's what that feel like. What reason? Was it Tupac? Was it Sid Knight? What do you feel about that, brother? Let us know. Tupac and Sid Knight. You got fans. I feel like I feel like, I feel like Sid Knight made look this look whole career. Look at that picture right now. Look. Snoop is alive. They say Doc will live look, by the gun, die by the Shug gun. Sid Knight's whole career is based off of Tupac. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for Tupac, we wouldn't even know who the fuck Suge Knight is. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's how I feel about the situation. Suge Knight should have never tried to play. Uh, how I feel about it is Suge Knight played Tupac. You know what I'm saying? You, you bailed me out. And uh, I expect you to be able to take care of this, this, and that. You did. Well, then that's when we talk about the secret societies and all eyes on me. Now, if you guys understand the brother Tupac, we all make mistakes in life. We always try to get better and be better gods. Right, right, right. You know, so there's things I don't believe. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> What Tupac said, but uh, the point is that when Suge bailed out Tupac, his first album on death, death, bro, some shit that you wanted niggas to celebrate, because I could get real, because my family's straight out of Compton, and we moved to Riverside. My family's the reason that Ice Cube, much love to the game. I see the brothers from Kendrick, y'all niggas in Carson Woo! are talking about the knowledge now. And we already know that the niggas in Riverside and the IE were talking about spaceships and all that shit before all y'all motherfuckers. Like me, my mom worked hard. She's a straight black woman out of Compton. She moved me to Riverside to teach this. And it's still crazy. So let's study how it said all eyes on me. And, this, and it was a, the first double disc of hip hop. The first, though. And it showed you the all seeing eye. The first. So now we got to learn, Suge Knight, when you build this brother out who was talking about African power, he came from the Shakur, Shakur family, who was a Black Panthers when black people right, were right, really right. doing some prominent shit in the community. Right. What was that about? Did you really murder this nigga? Did you really murder this nigga? You're still in the limelight. No, actually, who should give a fuck about this nigga? In in the world today, we got people starving. We have poverty. We all know I got homies who got killed last week. And why is it that the media is focusing on Suge Knight? That's because Suge Knight's an idiot. Is he? He truly is. 
I, I Take away like Suge Knight, where we know Niggas. if if it wasn't for Suge Knight, would we know Tupac and Dr. Dre or Easy E? Or, or, or. I feel like Tup Tupac would have been successful without Suge Knight because when you're talented, when 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 you when you have that, ain't no stopping that. Well, brother, I believe in you, but that's why you got to come over here more because for me, that's not true. You can have fake motherfuckers around you who don't give a fuck about you. True. You true. got that's people in the industry true. who work for the Jews. Much love to all people. But we know that the so-called Jewish community are a group of Europeans who claim to steal the lineage from ancient African spirituality. True. Rest in peace, Dr. Ben. True. So I want to I wanna give a shout out to Dr. Ben. This brother wrote so many books. He talked about Africa. He was one of the first brothers to talk about ancient Egypt. And so when you guys come on my spaceship, I really want you to know. We're not fucking around. This is serious. This took hard work. You see this behind me? Name a person on the turf who could do what we're doing right now. Is anybody doing it? So when I invest in you, young Zeus, when I believe in you, when I have young artists and artists come on this show who are cool, I believe in them. Look them up on Facebook. See their polls. See what they're talking about. Because there's real shit going on in the world, whether you're from East Riverside, the South Side of Riverside, Riverside. West, or this, the IE San Bernardino, Marino Valley, or the murder, or LA, the bad. New York, it's the same shit. There's a church on every corner, there's a liquor store on every corner, and everybody's got YouTube. So now there's no excuses to come with the real. So next time you come on this motherfucking show, my brother, I want more. Because you're talented. Thank you. And when did you start growing the dreadlocks? Uh, I had a long hair already, but I started twisting them about 2011, though. Really? Yeah. So what made you start doing that? I just got tired of maintaining that shit. <laughs> Cultures coming together in, uh, I guess, uh, extending the bloodline. Shit. I need some NCAA pictures too. You know what I'm saying, motherfuckers will fall off if we don't keep this shit going. Black people is on the brink of extinction anyway. Fact. Fact. Th 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 this is when we need our sound effects. That is a fact. Black people, the human race. Because if you're white, black. Brown, yellow, you come from us. We have the greatest DNA. That's why black people act different because that's like throwing like a lion. If you ever watch these YouTube videos, they'll show you a, of a lion tripping out, an yeah, yeah. elephant tripping out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's because we have been put in an in natural environment. Yeah. There's a reason why so-called white folks are near the beach. Us as black folks, some of us, Need to be in the water. In the water. So now we're <laughs> learning. So so now we're traveling through outer space, and we're learning that all right, Suge Knight might have been part of killing Tupac. Now, some people say the karma's coming back. The God Bone from the Bloods. I don't know if you killed a lot of people, but we know that the Bloods <laughs> came from Chicago. We could call about T, uh, brother T C Wright a if I didn't pronounce him right, and he came from Chicago, and we could talk about the Nation of Islam. How does, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> so the Mayweather fight. <laughs> so the Mayweather fight. There we go. So what's good? We got the final four. Now, I heard President Obama said something about the, N, the, the NCAA. For me, 
a group of people are making billions off of black people. Oh, we still monkeys, man. In, in many ways, like the NCAA active. tournament is right now. We still acting, man. You got some bad white motherfuckers, got some bad white brothers, but it's all gods. Look, it's all brothers. Look, man, black people was put on this earth to entertain. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we didn't need books and shit like that to learn something. Nigga, we, we, we had that. It was just, that's what I'm talking about. When I say that, just have that, that's what I'm talking about. It's just there. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not religious like that. I'm not motherfucking uh, biased against right, right white folks or none of that. But in the long run, man, when it comes down to it, you know, we are that. There you go. So, man, we got about, we have about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, nine minutes. We have, have nine minutes. We, we keep running through the sugar. Do we, have it, do we have anything else that we could run through and talk about? Because I want to talk to Zeus more. And some people get scared. Not scared, <laughs> but you might not have ever seen anything like this. Have you ever seen anything like this, brother? You know what? Uh, this is the first kind of uh, setup I've been in like this. It's kind of wild in here, man. <laughs> Come on, brother, you got it. Yeah. Come on, Zeus. <laughs> Zeus, we're going to talk about no host bar Zeus. All right, we're yeah. watching the ancient Egyptian gods. Yeah. We know that the word <laughs> Zeus, we, it comes from a black man, too. Right, right, you right, watched, right. You watched all that shit. Right, right. But the knowledge really comes from ancient Africa. Rest in peace, Dr. Ben. It comes from ancient Egypt, Kemet, and all over the world that proves that before hip-hop, before all these names of what we did, this is what we did. Like you were saying. So no music. It's not on no punk shit, man. No, no, no. It's not. It actually sounds good. And you're sounding something. So go off. Start talking. Let us know. What do you want to do with your life? What do you can you tell the people about the studio? Do you want to come back? Do you want to have your album I'm a, release I'm a party tell here instead of the vibe where the motherfuckers who really don't give a fuck about you, hey, look, you're going to pay? The vibe don't even fuck with my people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we got kicked out of the vibe for sure. They don't want us back. Shout out to Mike, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I fucks with Mike, but they don't want us there no more. Uh, long story. At the end of the day, man, it... it it was a record label on a record label on a record label on a record label. Now it's just Zeus by itself. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm just doing me. I don't care about what the fuck the next man got going on with his music shit or whatever the hell going on with him or her or whoever. I know Zeus is gonna put the rib on the mat, and that's just at the end of the day. Man, it's just what it is. Period. So when can we expect your next album? Oh, the, ne the album is dropping on the fourth of July. Probable cause, it's that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit. And uh, everybody need that. Like, it's life changing. When I say it's life changing, I mean when you hear the album, you're gonna feel like you're in a whole nother time zone. You're in a whole nother uh, element. So do you know anything about the videos and the uh, pictures that you're watching? Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, th that right there is, <laughs> that's. That's Atomic Dog, that's Anubis, that's the Black God. <laughs> Look. That's when we learn about Miss Snoop. I'm very. He, he uh, Snoop used to morph, I don't know if you guys used to watch Snoop Dogg's first videos, Peace of the God. He used to morph, he used to morph into a dopamine pincher. Yeah, he did. And if you spell dog backwards, tell me what you get. You know what I'm saying? That, Snoop calls himself a dog for a reason, and I don't know, I, I do a, a lot of researching and shit like that. Apparently, when you hear things backwards, you comprehend them before you even realize it. So, calling myself a dog, or Snoop calling himself a dog, you know what I'm saying? What is dog, what is dog spelled backwards? God. You know what I'm saying? So God. <laughs> That's right, Jason. That's 
deep, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's deep. So then we start learning about the ancient symbols, you know what ancient I'm saying? Symbols, that's when we that. learn about KRS One, Wu Tang. These niggas were straight from the fucking gutter, my nigga. All that, yeah, yeah. Real, yeah. real shit. But they told you that the black man was God. That's powerful. N.W.A. didn't do that. That's powerful. When N.W.A. like the brothers from New York say, nigga, we need Riverside to blow up. That's why, powerful. Why did the brothers from Harlem say Elm Street, Jason? We want you to make it. That's powerful. Cause N.W.A. you kill Easy E. Much love to Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, y'all still alive. Uh, see what's going on with Suge. Tupac's gone. Death Row. The brothers in New York were from fucking Brooklyn. When, when, have you ever seen? We had Menace to Society and Boys in the Hood. Them niggas had New Jack City. Nino Brown. When niggas was really selling crack and really doing their thing. But they still taught science. That's when we learn about the Harlem Renaissance. We learn about Malcolm X. A black man that really lived. So we can't fuck around with this shit. We got our own studio now. All y'all brothers in Riverside, the IE, Southern California, Worldwide, and then come and do your own show here. We have young Zeus in the motherfucking building, man. So what's good, man? Yeah. I, I, know you, I know you see that spaceship beaming down on you. What do you think about that? You know... Hey. We got a few minutes left. I talk hey. about I talk okay. about advanced technology. I talk about right, how right, black right. people before we were enslaved, we were smart. We right. actually built what you right. see the Europeans do uh, with spaceships. They still can't figure this shit out. What's your take on everything? It irritates me. It makes me feel like uh, we're forgotten. Like. We built this country when you think about it. So, I mean, fuck. what does it come down to? Uh, black, black man built this country, but we don't, we don't get no checks or nothing like the Indians do, which y'all stole, stole, stole this country from. You know what I'm saying? Or we don't, we don't get respect like Hispanics do. You know what I'm saying? Now, what's going on in Riverside in Southern California with the black and Hispanics? I hear that there's usually sometimes a beef. Do you know it's about a lot that? Of, yeah, it's a lot of tension always since dating back to, you know, since day one. It's always been tensions, tension between uh, the Hispanic community and the black community, always. Have you ever had to deal with anything like that? Give a shout out to Barry Gordy because he, he made a movie called The Last Dragon and it taught you that you can have a glow and it taught you that you were the master. So you are the master. I am Jason Elm Street Williams. My show is called What is the Matrix TV and NBC MTV ain't got nothing on me and my team. In the Empire Live TV, we are supreme. Tune in next week. Peace and love. Jason. Maybe hit these trees, yeah. 
Maybe it's these holes that got me. Maybe it's this stroll that got me. Maybe it's these clothes that got me. Maybe it's these clothes that got me. Maybe it's my dog that got me. Maybe it's these bras that got me. Maybe it's this man that got me. Maybe it's my clan that got me. Maybe it's my fan that got me. My plants, my plans. Come and visit our studio. Let's make some money together. Peace and love.